Hi, I'm Pat Murphy Racy. I'm a Sony artisan of imagery. Today I'm here to talk to you about uh, Think Tank, which is, in my opinion, the best bags known on the planet right now. When I started my career, we all used Domke bags. The F2 bag was the bag. But when I transitioned from uh, DSLRs into mirrorless years ago, one of the things I found is that the lenses were like much smaller and the bodies are tiny. And so stuff knocked around too much inside of the typical bags that I'd been used to using. I kind of looked around for different options. So what I want to do is go through the various lightwear bags that I have and just talk about each one, how I use it. And you know, maybe it'll be useful to you. Maybe it won't be. Um, I should say that I am not a, I don't get anything from lightwear. Like they don't pay me to do this. I'm not a, I'm not one of their photographers or whatever. There's no sponsorship. Most professionals, when you get to like a high pro photographer, those of us that travel to work, that, that is means we get in planes, we drive long distances maybe to, to drive to assignments. We're all using Think Tank. It's just great stuff. The very first one I want to show you is the bag that I use the most. This is the Shapeshifter 17 version 2.0. Now, one of the things about Think Tank you got to realize is that stuff lasts forever. So some, some of the stuff I'm going to show you may be discontinued or they maybe have a different a version 3 or whatever. Um, but this is the uh, Shapeshifter 17 version 2.0. I love this bag. It's just traditional backpack, so it's got like the normal stuff. It does have the crossover on it, which is really helpful if you're actually climbing. If you're doing like a hike, a difficult hike, you can hold that on there. If it's something really heavy you're carrying, I really like that. But the thing that I love most about this bag is how you access the gear inside. And so there's a zipper, you just zip this down, the whole bag opens up, and what you have in here are neoprene pockets that have drawstrings on them, so you can make sure the stuff doesn't come out. This is such a great design. I don't know why nobody thought of this before, but I love this. So in this bag right now, I have my favorite kind of lenses for doing uh, environmental portraits uh, with lights. So here is my uh, 135, 1.8. Here is my 35, 1.4. Uh, here's my... Uh, 7200 2.8 G Master 2 lens, and then down here is the um, is the 51.2, which is the Mac Daddy. This is the ultimate, you know, environmental portrait lens right now. That and 35 are incredible. And then this pocket here, um, I have a an Alpha One with a grip on it and a strap, so just body cap. But I love this idea of this, this pocket here. It's great. And you can also open this. I, this is the first time I've ever opened mine. I don't ever open it. That's the first time I've ever done it. But you can keep all this gear in here really easily. And it's easy to access. Um, so it's really, really quick to get at stuff and to be able to move things around and put things away. Um, just simple, simple. So this is a great bag. And of course, it has the ability to... Once you have everything in there, you can put something on the top too, and it's not gonna hurt the gear inside. This is really important, because sometimes you're gonna throw a 90 macro in, or maybe a, a super wide zoom or something like that, and then you can zip it all up. And of course, because Think Tank is really designed by photographers for photographers, um, there's a back pocket here that is for your laptop, um, or your iPad, or whatever you're gonna use. Um, so there's a lot of room in it. It's great. Um, I love this bag. I use this bag more than any other bag. It's a constant, like every shoot I go on, um, this shapeshifter goes with me. So that's one. Okay, the second bag I'm gonna talk about is the uh, Think Tank Streetwalker Pro. This bag is so versatile. You can do so many different things with it. Um, the thing that I most want to use it for and did used to use it for in the past was a 3028 with a body attached. So you can like move these internal things around and a 3028 fits in there really nice. Of course, Sony doesn't make a 3028 yet. I'm waiting. I digress. So you can put a 3028 in here, you can put bodies here, you can put teleconverters. It's just a sweet little way to go and it's really small light it doesn't take up a lot of room this sits in an overhead on a small plane um, so if you're going to a game and you're going to fly in shoot the game and fly home same day this is awesome um, you can put a 428 in here but you have to take the body off but there's plenty of room to put the body on the side so this is a really really functional lens 
All the Think Tank products come with rain uh, gear, like there's a pocket and then you pull out this little pouch and it's got a rain slick that goes over the whole entire thing. So if you're a big time hiker and you wanna take your really expensive camera gear and it's raining the day you're going hiking, not to worry because uh, Think Tank's got you covered there. But this is really great. I, I use this pocket here for teleconverters and stuff like that. Um, just a great bag. These are awesome. Um, so, and again, these bags might be slightly older than what is, you know, around. Um, I wanted to show you this too. Um, this little, this little guy here. You just pull this out. It's like a Velcro thing. And then this thing comes down. And what you have here is the bottom of a tripod, or in my case, it's going to be a monopod. So you, it's got this thing where you can put it on there and then you can strap over to hold it. Very, very useful. Obviously very, very well thought out by photographers for photographers. So this is a Think Tank Streetwalker Pro. Fantastic bag, really comfortable straps. Same deal where it's got the crossover if you need it. Third bag I'm gonna show you is uh, Think Tank. This is a perception tablet. I'm pretty sure this is no longer made, but they probably make something like it. It's just an itty bitty backpack. It's really small. Again, it's got the crossover on it. Um, it's really nice. You can put stuff in here like a flashlight or whatever if you're going out in the dark. Um, these are really neat bags. This is an older version. Um, what I keep in this bag is actually kind of surprising. Um, I don't think that, well, I know that Think Tank didn't have this in mind. I keep, um, the FJ200 in here with the, um, the contraption that allows you to use a speed ring and put it on a, you know, a light stand and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I keep this in there and then for, you know, really interior, like indoor lighting gigs that I have, then I also carry with me the FJ80, which I have an umbrella swivel on. So I can put this on a stand as well. And of course I can ma manipulate this anywhere I want to. And because there's a quarter 20 tap in here, it makes it really convenient to use for just small things where you're just going to be in. So I've got two very powerful lights right here um, that I can put on my back, take two small stands, go inside of a corporate office with a light bank or whatever. And I can very quickly achieve what I want to in terms of lighting. So, and it just takes up no room. Um, sometimes I'm guilty of, uh, you know, if people are not paying very well on an assignment, but I, I don't have any work that day, I'm gonna take the job anyway, I just ride the motorcycle. And um, this is a great way to travel with a bike. Um, I can put all my camera gear and this entire lighting bag into one side bag on my, my BMW and go off and shoot an assignment. And the only thing better than riding a motorcycle is, getting a, is riding a motorcycle and getting paid mileage. Tip from Pat. This next bag really probably by rights should have been the first bag I showed because it is the most popular bag that I think that Think Tank makes. Um, this is um, a fantastic tool and I've had, I've had everything from LEDs in this bag, camera equipment, I've had clothing in it, I've had um, just everything. This is an airport security and these are just super versatile, um, very, very handy. The airport security bag is just a, a universally functional bag. And you might notice it's got orange up here. This is an accessory kit you can buy from Think Tank that I really love to do. Um, you can buy the handle, you can buy these little orange straps that you can add to the zippers. And of course, the cool orange wheels. I love this, you know, so I kind of do this to all my bags because I know <laughs> I can find them or whatever, but um, this bag right now, I've got a couple of these, but this one is tasked with lighting. So inside, you're gonna find two uh, Westcott FJ400s, uh, a Fresnel unit. Um, the trigger is usually right here. Spare battery, which I almost never use because these are such good units. Um, and then these reflectors, are kind of magnetized. It's really neat the way they did this. There's little magnets in them. And you can also, I carry with me these um, filters. So these are not like red grubleen. These are actually corrective lighting filters. So these are in there. I can just slap them on. So if I'm in a tungsten environment or if I'm in fluorescent in a shop, in a factory, I can just immediately change out the lighting 
on my end and make it the same as what's there. Um, up here, there's a whole assortment of uh, um, pockets, which are great for little mini A-clamps. Uh, ear protection for games, going to you know basketball games really loud. These are the charging cords for the um, uh, for the trigger for the wet, the uh, Westcott, but just a really really well thought out bag, um, and you can stuff it full, and it, it's just a great bag. The thing about the airport security is that it is designed specifically to the airline specifications for under the seat in front of you. Now, what this really means is that it'll always fit an overhead compartment, and it will fit in the overhead this way, and you can close the door. So. Really, really important bag. Remember also that this is the best way to put a bag in the overhead. So don't put it in, don't be a jerk. Put it in, you know, vertically. And that way there's a lot more room for everybody else. But anyway, these are great. Um, and then on the front, there's a pocket up here. Um, it's kind of a thin one, but this is really great. You know, plane tickets are usually where I put it in there. My passport goes in here. And then it's got this big pocket on the front, which is great if you're working out of a car. Your light equipment's all safe inside the, the think tank, airport security, but then you can shove light banks in here, you can shove uh, small light stands in here. These things can really bulge, and this fabric somehow never wears out. Um, I've never punctured it. Light, think tank just uses great materials in everything they do. One last thing I'm gonna show you is on the top, there's always a place for your uh, business card to go. So this is really handy. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the business card, shove it in there, at the back side of it, I list all of my, my phone number, my full name, and then I list all the frequent flyer numbers for all the airlines that I typically travel. That way, if the bag gets lost, they'll eventually find this, pull it out. They'll be able to put me in and find me on Delta or United or American or whatever. Um, so fantastic bags. Again, all these bags come with these rain covers. Uh, the rain cover for this one, I think, was in here. I don't really use it very much, but it's just handy to have. Um, and uh, this is just a great bag. These are fantastic. Um, anybody that travels a lot, airport security, killer. And then, of course, this has the flip-up handle, um, which they don't break. <laughs> they don't break. This is, and then you can zipper it closed so that when you go to put it into baggage, you can like zip it closed so they can't mess up your handle. Um, I want to point out, too, that this, this is Think, pack, think Bag. This is serial number 00002111. I've had this thing for a long, long time. And I've got newer versions of the airport security, but um, I've got 3.0s, but I still travel with this one. It's just kind of my favorite bag. So off it goes. Okay. This next bag is a bigger one. Um, this is no longer um, you know, you can't take it on the plane with you, even though it's the same width as the others. It technically would fit in the overhead, but it will not fit in the seat in front of you, so they won't let you bring it on board at all. So now we've entered into check luggage. This is check luggage land. Um, but again, you'll see my orange here. A lot of black bags in the airport look the same. People get off a long flight and they grab your stuff and they don't realize it. If it's got all this orange on it and my orange wheels, you know, I feel like it's probably better that they're probably not gonna, you know, grab my bag. This has the zipper, zipper close on the, on the top too, uh, which I really like. So I can just zipper the handle close, nobody can break it. Inside this one, um, now these bags are obviously made so that you can put lots of different things in them. And you can got, they come with all these dividers. They really always come with more dividers than you'd ever need. Um, but you'll end up configuring the bag into kind of a universal use. That's what I do. So in this bag, this is now an LED bag for doing video projects. And um, so in here are four Amaran 200Ds, all the power supplies for all four of them. Um, and then over here, I've got a speed ring, an extension cord with a one to three. I have two different kinds of Fresnels. I have uh, two of their fancy, really bright reflectors. So in this one bag, I have plenty to do a really big, large scale video shoot. Um, I could light up more than one room with just these four. Um, so this is a really super small package. Um, 
Just like with mirrorless cameras that have much smaller footprint than the DSLRs that preceded them, the LED lighting has really come a long way. I mean, look at tiny how tiny this is. This is a daylight fixture, 200 watt second. I mean, not watt second, but it's a 200 watt uh, daylight fixture. It's extremely bright. Um, I love these Amaran lights, but they go so well into this case. And then you have the big zippers where, you know, I've got uh, diffusion material. I've got a little a cover. This is diffusion material here. Um, and there's plenty of room to put extra stuff. Um, I love how you can adjust these so you can have the bag open maybe a little wider so it won't close on you. All these things are adjustable. So it's really, they just really think things out uh, in a really great way. So now it's going to lay open more naturally. And then when you close them, I just pull these in so they're not where the zippers are. And uh, this is a great bag, man. Um, on the front, there's a large compartment for a laptop or an iPad. Um, and then there's also a bottom thing. Again, this is that kind of magic stretchy fabric that uh, Think Tank uses and everything. And you can shove all kinds of light stands, light banks, modifiers, whatever you're doing. Um, but they're so well made. Um, and this is the Logistics Manager 30. Logistics Manager 30. Such a great bag, I can't tell you. I've never had a broken set of wheels. Um, I've never had a broken handle. And all the time I've been using Lightwear, it's been many years. So there's that one. Here's the next. So this one is a Production Manager 40. It's even larger, it's longer. It's the same width again. So it's kind of a standard width. Um, again, these are fantastic bags. Um, so here is the very top I'm gonna to show you is this long zippered compartment that you can jam uh, umbrellas into, uh, light banks that you're gonna fold up, diffusion material, like whatever you wanna stick in there. This is just a super way to work. And then the entire, the entire thing opens up and you have easy access to everything inside. Now the way I've got this one configured today is with um, three Ellen Chrome um, HD Pro uh, 500 watt second heads. And you can just make these, you know, move around or whatever. Typically, uh, this is just the last job I did, which was um, a, a headshot, a series of headshots for a kind of a high-end purpose. It wasn't just like a knock them down and whatever. So I needed really precision uh, color accuracy and balance. So I always reach for the Ellen Chrome HD Pros when I do that. Um, they're the most consistent. They're like consistency is, is like the same as like brown color. Um, and uh, I love them. They're really compact, powerful, um, all that stuff. But in here also, I've got three light stands. Uh, there's actually four light stands in here. Um, they're all just laying in there. You can put light banks in there. There's plenty of room for stuff. Here's a, uh, an extension cord. These are kind of nice to pick up around Christmas time. It's just a, a short extension cord with three outlets on it. Um, these are great. So um, obviously this is for more of a larger project, like a bigger lighting job. Um, this one usually has, this carry, carry, typically doesn't have light stands in it where I usually use it. And I put additional dividers in and I carry six uh, Westcott FJ400s in here typically. But again, I had a kind of a high end job. Like if I'm gonna do a food job, if I'm gonna do some tabletop um, for like a ceramic tile, I'm gonna use the really good, super consistent lighting uh, color temperature of the, uh, the Allen Chrome. But for, for shooting people and just general assignment stuff, I'm gonna use uh, the FJ400s. Um, this is super cool. And again, this is the Production Manager 40. And when you see the word production, you know why. It's, it's just, you can really do big production with this. They call this the Stand Manager 52. And one of the age old problems with traveling and shooting a big lighting job is the best light stand there is is a C stand. It's just the best way to go. And the problem is they don't fit into typical bags. They're, they just don't fit well. So uh, Think Tank designed this bag to carry two turtle C stands. That is to say that the bottom of the stand comes off so what you do is you lay your 40 inch uh, C stands in here and then the legs are going sideways. I have used it for that in the past, 
but that's not what's in here right now. And um, what I like about the stand manager bags is how long this is. Because the problem is when you travel, you're typically not gonna take your big, big, huge light banks because they just don't fit anything. Well, this does. So this will fit the larger of the Westcott, um, the Octobanks, uh, it fits, um, I love using the uh, Rhyme Light. They have a 90 inch light bank, a big, huge uh, uh, Octobank. It'll fit in here. Um, you can use the huge, like um, one foot by six foot tall um, strip banks. They'll fit in here. So you can put like whatever you want in here, it's great. Um, in here right now is just, uh, this is the, um, the Westcott seven foot umbrella, the shoot through umbrella. Boy, if you don't have one of these, this is the quickest, fastest way to make beautiful light. They're a hundred bucks, um, seven feet. It's seven feet tall when you open it up. These are just the, you know, if you're wanting to get beautiful light in your portraits, this is the easiest way to get it. It's not maybe the best way, but it's the quickest way to get a beautiful, beautiful light. Um, and here's a, these are the Shamira panel frames. And then there's a little Avenger bank in here, a speed ring, whatever, there's a reflector. But these are just great. They just, you know, and there's also a sleeve in here. So you could take, like I could take this umbrella and now it's in the sleeve. This would fit in there too. Um, there's A clamps at the bottom for doing backgrounds if you have to put a background up or something like that. Um, then also the very bottom of it, this is the top, that's the bottom. They put a really nice hard, really hard uh, piece of material in here so the bottom of the stands won't punch through the bag when you're traveling, somebody throws it around. Because we know they all throw stuff around. Um, so this is, um, so this is, you know, some of the bags. I got one more thing I'm gonna show you, again, that I use at every single wedding I do. So I'm, I'm you know, gonna be right back. This last thing I'm gonna show you is the smallest piece that I'm pulling out here. Um, this little bag here is called the Slim Changer, and it has two little dividers in it. Um, these are perfect for APS-C lenses that are much smaller. Um, you can actually put like an A6600 in here or a ZVE-10 with two lenses in this little itty bitty tiny thing. Um, fantastic. Um, and then this of course attaches to a little belt this is the small one. It's, it's called the Thin Skin Belt version 2.0. Um, you can buy these in small, medium, and large. And what I also have on here is a Lens Changer 35 version 2.0. And this is just a stuff sack. And so I use this for the, the 135-18 or the 7200-282 version lens. Um, and when I do weddings, this is on me all day, absolutely all day. When I get to the reception, I take the 7200 out and I put the FJ80 um, in there. So I've got my flash in here and I can just whip it out anytime I want and uh, hold it up, shoot, and then put it back so I'm not carrying it around all the time. Um, I can't tell you how many miles are on this little kit here. So the belt, the little tiny slim changer bag, the lens changer. This is, I wouldn't leave home without this to do an event, event photography, just invaluable. And the last one is the smallest one I own, as far as I know. This is called the Little Stuff It Bag by Think Tank. And uh, in the front, there's a little pocket where I keep extra batteries. And inside here is my little RX100 um, uh, 5, uh, my little point and shoot, uh, which does legit 4K video if I want it to, but it's got a little Zeiss lens, 24 to 70, it's fast. This is just when you're like hiking or something like that and you just don't want to take, you know, real gear that's heavy. I love this thing. Um, and even, even this one in the very bottom, there's a bottom compartment in here and inside here is the little, the little rain cover. So if I get caught in the rain, no big deal. I can just cover it up and I can just keep hiking and not be worried about my gear. Um, so in, in kind of summation, I've got a lot of bags. I've got a lot of bags in this garage. Um, and uh, I've had, um, you know, a lot of lightwear products in the past, you know, back, that was more of the 90s. 
Um, I've used Versaflex, which is out of Ohio. Larry up there makes a great product. But nobody really figured out how to do the wheels and the, the roller. Nobody does that better than Think Tank. Um, and so I don't know what you're doing or if you're looking for bags. I just can't recommend these guys more. Again, I want to tell you I'm not a paid. This is not. I get nothing for this. This is just me trying to help you figure out what might be good for you. Because um, if it works really great for me as a pro, it might work for you as well. So this is all I got on Think Tank. Um, and uh, yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching. If this is helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button so I can continue to do more of these. Thanks so much.